Hello and welcome to Eat Right with Rouses. I'm your host, Keith Weissite. Thank you so much for joining us. And we are always glad to welcome in our favorite dietitian and registered dietitian, April Sins, with Eat Right with Rouses. Hey, April. Hey, how are you doing, Keith? I am very good, thank you. And I'm always looking forward to something quick and easy. Today, we've yeah. got something quick and easy. It's exciting. We do. You know, it's one of my favorite dishes, and sometimes it's so easy that I forget about it, you know, because it's just something just so simple and it's just your ingredient. You know, you, a lot of these things are kitchen staples that you, that you're using in this. And we're going to make some quesadillas. Woo-hoo! So it's an easy, I know, right? <laughs> <laughs> so, I mean, it's just an easy meal solution, especially, you know, people are so busy. Um, everybody's, you know, getting back into work and maybe doing some summertime activities during the day and just, to have something simple to come home and make at night can just make just life so so much easier, and especially for busy families. And so what we're going to be making is some quesadillas. And so I'm going to show you the ingredients that we're going to be using. And this is really going to make it easy because we're going to be using some easy canned goods. Okay. Um, but we're going to be using some um, tomatoes. It's going to be some tomatoes with some uh, green chilies in it. And this is called Tomato Love. It's by Red Gold. You can find this on the shelves at Rouse's. Really good. You want to drain these tomatoes first, and I'm going to add this to this bowl right here. So what we're going to do is essentially make a filling for this. And um, and then the other thing we're going to be using is something is Bush's beans. It's called Sidekicks, and it, it's seasoned with a Fiesta seasoning inside. If you want to buy, you know, let's say you wanted to reduce the sodium, you wanted to season it yourself, you could definitely get the plain be- uh, black beans and then season them yourself. If you wanted to rinse them and drain them, that reduces the salt content as well. So we're gonna use those, but what this makes is a really a lot of filling here. And so even though I'm using the whole cans, it, it makes a lot. So that way I can spread it throughout a lot of different quesadillas. But also what I love about this recipe is that if I have any filling left over, I can take it and make something else. I can make it into a burrito. I could put it in a taco. You know, I could, you know, just, it just adds so much versatility to it. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and take my tortillas. Now, get whatever kind you like. If you like uh, flour tortillas or if you like uh, whole wheat, I'm using the whole wheat. And what we're going to do is we're going to spread the filling on, on top of the tortilla. And just a little bit goes a long way. And then what we're going to do is we're going to add some cheese on top. Now I have the Rouse's Colby Jack cheese, which is one of my favorite ones to get because you could use it on so many different types of dishes. Yep. I I think you were telling me you like that one as well. It's it's in my fridge. Yeah. yeah, And and it's the Rouse's Colby Jack. It's awesome. I know. And it's just one of those simple kind of go-to cheeses that kind of go with any dish, whether you're making a chili or anything like that. Right. And so what we're going to do is we're going to cook this on both sides till it's golden brown. And then we're going to be, um, and then we have our, our quesadilla. And then I like to add a little something green. I have some green cilantro leaves right here, which make kind of just a nice garnish on top. But you could pair this with um, maybe some fresh or, uh, or steamed vegetables, um, okay. like, a, like some broccoli and carrots and cauliflower. You know, and just kind of throw the veggies in there. What I love about the quesadilla is you're adding cheese, which is calcium. It also has some protein in it. You could throw in some veggies in there. um, And like we're adding the beans and the tomatoes. And so you really have a nice, basically like a complete uh, meal here where you have all those different nutrients in one dish. And it's easy. and, And again, it's so simple. And then look at what you've been able to make. You cut that up. I mean, serve a couple of different people with that, especially with something on the side. But look how oh, much yeah. of the filling you have left to be able yeah. to use. And it's already stuff, like you said, it's already stuff that's already in your kitchen. You already have yeah. those things. And now, you know, you can have a different night with tacos. You have a different night uh, with, you know, burrito, like you said. You yeah, know, you can, that's what I You love can do about. taco Tuesday, Monday, to taco <laughs> Wednesday, burrito Thursday, <laughs> quesadilla Friday. Right? I mean, you got lots of different options right there. You can stretch it out the whole week, right? Yeah, right. I know. And that's what I love about it, too, and the affordability, too, because we're using canned goods. So it's something that we can buy ahead. 
um, and then, you know, keep in the pantry and then use it whenever we're ready to use it. We don't have to worry about it going bad. The tomatoes, they're already chopped and ready to go. You know, canned tomatoes are actually canned at their peak freshness. So most of the time, the factories are really close to where they grow the vegetables and fruits and they can them right after they're picked. So, you know, a lot of times, you know, canned, the canned goods and those canned vegetables and things like that can be some good go-to items. And if you're worried about sodium, like I said, you can always rinse um, and that will reduce the sodium as well. Or you can buy the no added salt canned goods as well. Yeah. And again, it's, it's such a great recommendation as we got about uh, 45 seconds left here to be able to rinse those things, add your own seasoning. That way you can add less salt. I know it's one of those things we need to keep in mind here in South Louisiana. We lead the country mm -hmm. in hypertension. It's important for us to be aware of that. If you're on a low salt diet, you can very easily change this particular recipe to make it low sodium. Oh, yeah. And it's changing. It's doing those small changes and they add up over time. So, you know, it's not about taking, you know, everything away that we like. It's about just making those small changes. And this is just one of those simple dishes that can be family friendly to make it for the kids, adults, everybody's happy. And for me, as the adult, I get to be the adult and be the kid. So that's awesome to be able to do that. <laughs> April, thank you so very much. Great idea on quesadilla is nice and simple. Thanks so much. Have a All great right. Week. And that will do it for this particular edition of Eat Right with Rouse's. Don't go anywhere. A lot more local programming here on HTV.